Okay guys, when it comes to throwing with the KP, there's a few things that you would want to be mindful of. Um, number one if, is if you're new to KP fishing, um, it normally takes a couple, a good couple outings guys before you're able to get used to this reel specifically. And I would encourage you, do not give up prematurely because on the first couple of tries you didn't get it. Uh, this is a reel that takes perseverance and if you're able to, to get through the learning curve, you will enjoy fishing with this Keith Palmer. It is a reel that I enjoy most. In fact, it is one of my favorite reels to fish shoot as compared to the other reel. Now, I'm going to make this very simple. So the first thing you want to know is that your KP has to be balanced with the rod that you're using. In my case, this is a 5-inch KP which is balanced with a 10-foot rod. So it's got a feel, right? You can't have a KP that's too big on a tiny rod. Um, you just got to make sure that there is a balance between both rod and reel. Now when it comes to the seal, the seal is very simple. It's not like a traditional grinder. Let me demonstrate. So I have my finger on the inside or you can put it on the outside for your brakes. But I traditionally like to use uh, my finger on the inside to throw with the tape. You're going to take the string back and then you're going to release here. And watch your, you're going to watch your sinker so that you know exactly when you're going to hit brakes. Okay, so an easy way to do this. So when it comes to your KP reel, the most important thing is that you're able to control the reel, putting brakes onto the reel so that you do not get an overwind, especially when you're throwing um, and especially when you need to stop the reel. So the whole idea with KP fishing is you do not want to throw this reel too hard uh, because if you throw it too hard, it might spin out of control and that's when you're going to get an overwind. So you have to master the art of being able to pass with a little bit of force but at the same time to be gentle enough so that the reel swings but at the same time you are able to stop it in the motion of uh, swinging. So, normally when I fish with the KP, I allow my sinker to go a little bit front, to swing front and as it comes back, I, I, I flick it over my head. And as I flick it and I release the, the, the reel, I'm actually watching when my sinker is going to hit the water. And as it hits the water, that's the cue to be able to stop the reel completely. But as the reel is swinging, you are still going to keep your finger there as to keep brakes throughout the entire car. There you go. So that's a simple way to do it. Like I said, you can hold brakes on the inside or you can use your thumb on the back of the wheel to hold brakes. Now, another key is when you're reeling in your line, you've got to make sure that the, your line distribution is even so that you don't want to have line bunched on one side and not on the other side. Just take your time. As you are reeling, make sure that there is even line distribution on your reel. Now a few things you want to avoid when you're fishing with the KP. You've got to be very mindful of these handles. And so you do not you do not want to put your hand in a position where when the reel is spinning, it's gonna come in contact with these handles because it can injure you pretty badly. And with that said, also you've got to keep in mind your fingers cannot go inside the spokes. You've got to be very deliberate in terms of knowing where specifically you're going to put brakes. Like I said, people generally will put brakes here or they will use the inside of the reel depending on how much line they have on the reel to put brakes. Let's try this again. So like I said, allowing the sinker to swing a little bit front and as it comes back from the back motion, I'm going to start releasing at this point. And like I said, my finger is not coming off the reel. My finger is still going to be there throughout the whole motion. It's just that I'm going to be able to guide the reel and stop it at the end when it is spinning. So let's start it again. 
Okay, there you have it.